to shoot sex on screen, in my opinion, it's so exotic and it's so normal. The illusion that there is a, an actual deep physicality between the characters on screen, it's an illusion. Truthfully, it's so technical and it's not different for me from many other scenes. I actually am a bit uh, uh, upset when I feel that people are like, the anxiety that raises up of like, oh, you don't want to be naked or things like, because you know, at the end of the day, they were naked all the time because they were in bathing suit all the time. Peter Spears, who is one of our producers, who with our Osman sparkled this movie, he acquired the rights of this uh, book in Galles and, and, and he said to me, you know what, it's this book, we want to make a movie, it's set in Italy, but it doesn't say where. Okay, would you like to have a look at it and tell us if you recognize the locations in the book? So I read the book and I said, you know, it's Liguria, it's this town. We started to dream of how we would have, we would have translated this novel that we all knew into a movie. We didn't meet till we were in Italy. We met in, in Crema, the tiny town that we were filming in. That's, that's where we met. I was having a piano lesson for the film, yeah. and Ar Army, who I'd never met, bursts in. He goes, hey, I'm Army. You're Timmy, right? And that was our introduction. He'd been in this little Italian town for so long that I think just the sound of English, he was like, I can talk to somebody. And then it was just, we just pretty much were together nonstop the rest of the time. The shooting of the actual scene of the, of the first kiss, it felt as organic and special and great as every other shot that we did on this movie. You know, we were laying next to a beautiful stream. We were in the middle of this wonderful countryside. We were working with incredible people and shooting in this beautiful town and, and we'd worked on it. I'm only 21 and maybe my film knowledge is more naive than others, but I've never really seen a shot like that from above where Army and I were splayed out on the grass and it started where we were, our faces were upside down and by the time we were on our elbows, we're at the top of the shot, so I never seen anything like that. That's what stood out to me last night in seeing the film. In some ways, it is one of those beautiful pieces that one would want to hear, I imagine, if one were in Elio's situation. Beautifully constructed and full of humanity, and um, I'm glad people have responded to it. Well, I know for the shooting process, Luke alluded to it earlier. You know, Luke didn't. Those scenes that were intense in sexual nature on the page, whether it was with Esther Guile, who plays Marcia, or with Army, Luca didn't treat it any differently. So, especially for a young actor like, like myself, you know, you arrive on set and Luca isn't, it's, it's not treated like he, like he said in his words, he didn't treat it with a higher anxiety. It's also a testament to Army that I feel like I had an excellent dance partner I could trust. Art is a very affecting and hopefully can be a change agent. Uh, you know, when Brokeback Mountain came out 11 years ago, it was really this inflammatory thing of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and I think that, you know, sociologically, I would hope that we have evolved enough that now we can see past that and see, like Lucas said, the, the humanity, the truth that's present in every moment, the truth that's present in every moment of desire or, or affection and all of that. I think it's hopefully now superseding that you know, those sort of biases. Every movie, uh, it's a love story between the directors and, and, and his or her actors. And if there wasn't a, a very deep, very strong uh, uh, feeling of love that I sh had for them, to the degree of attraction, I would say, that could sublimate on screen, I don't think we would have achieved, at least myself, what I was looking forward to. My duty is, uh, to avoid the trappings of acting and to try to find the ways to the uh, interiority of the people in front of the camera, both the characters and the actors playing those characters. It felt like we were truly just following Luca's vision and doing whatever he wanted to do and it was his vision and his vision exclusively and there's an organic nature to it I think when you do these movies because Peter, the producer of the film, worked on this for eight years to get it made. I mean, that, if that's not a, a, a sign of how much effort and passion it takes to make something like this happen. Uh, cinema is an absolute collective experience and it comes from any input you can get that is clever, intelligent, heartfelt and open and humble.